1. Article 12. It is the policy of the state to regulate the employment of aliens. a. True. b. False, the state discourages discrimination against all workers, especially foreign nationals. The answer is, a. True. The state regulates the employment of aliens, including the establishment of a registration and or work permit system. 2. Article 13. This term means any member of the labor force, whether employed or unemployed. a. Manpower. b. Labor. c. Worker. d. Employee. The answer is, c. Worker. 3. Article 13. This refers to any act of canvassing, enlisting, contracting, transporting, utilizing, or procuring workers and includes referrals, contract services, promising or advertising for employment, locally or abroad, whether for profit or not. A. Recruitment and placement. B. Job order. C. Human resource management. The answer is recruitment and placement. 4. Article 13. If an entity offers employment for a fee to one person, shall the said entity be deemed engaged in recruitment and placement? A. Yes. B. No. Article 13 states the entity must offer employment to two or more persons to be deemed engaged in recruitment and placement. The answer is B. No. Offer must be to two or more persons. 5. Article 13. This term means any person or entity engaged in recruitment and placement of workers for a fee which is charged from the workers or employers or both. a. Private fee charging employment agency. b. Placement agency. c. OWWA. The answer is private fee charging employment agency. 6. Article 13. This term refers to a document issued by the Department of Labor authorizing a person or entity to operate a private employment agency. A. Visa. B. License. C. Permit. The answer is B. License. 7. Article 13. This term refers to any person or association engaged in the recruitment and placement of workers, locally or overseas, without charging, directly or indirectly, any fee from the workers or employers. a. Private recruitment entity. b. OWWA. c. Placement agency. The answer is, a. Private recruitment entity. 8. Article 13. This term refers to a document issued by the Department of Labor authorizing a person or association to engage in recruitment and placement activities as a private recruitment entity. a. License b. Permit c. Authority The answer is c. Authority 9. Article 13. This refers to any person employed in a vessel engaged in maritime navigation. a. Navy B. Seaman. C. O. F. W. The answer is B. Seaman. 10. Art. 13. This refers to any person, worker or otherwise, who emigrates to a foreign country by virtue of an immigrant visa or resident permit or its equivalent in the country of destination. A. Emigrant. B. Overseas Filipino worker. C. Expat. The answer is A. Emigrant. 11. Article 15. This body shall be primarily responsible for developing and monitoring a comprehensive employment program. A. O. W. W. A. B. Dole. C. Bureau of Employment Services. The answer is C. Bureau of Employment Services. 12. Art. 18. The ban on direct hiring. Excludes members of the diplomatic corps international organizations and such other employers as may be allowed by the Secretary of Labor is exempted from this provision. A. True. B. False. There is no exemption to the ban on direct hiring. The answer is. A. True. 13. 
Article 22. It shall be mandatory for all Filipino workers abroad to remit a portion of their foreign exchange earnings to their families, dependents, and or beneficiaries in the country. A. True. B. False. Remittance is 100% voluntary. The answer is A. True. 14. Article 26. Are travel agencies allowed to engage in recruitment? A. Yes. B. No. The answer is B. No. Travel agencies and sales agencies of airline companies are prohibited from engaging in the business of recruitment and placement of workers for overseas employment whether for profit or not. 15. Article 27. How much of the capital stock should be owned by Filipinos for the entity to be permitted to participate in the recruitment and placement of workers? A. 100%. B. At least 50%. C. 75%. D. No more than 80%. The answer is C. 75%. 16. Article 34. When is it acceptable for a recruitment agency to induce a worker already employed to quit his employment in order to offer him to another employer? A. It is never acceptable. B. When the transfer is designed to liberate the worker from oppressive terms and conditions of employment. The answer is B. When the transfer is designed to free the worker from oppression. 17. Article 38. When is illegal recruitment deemed committed in large scale? A. When it is committed against three or more persons. B. When it involves well-known syndicates. C. When it has victimized ten or more persons. The answer is A. When it is committed against three or more persons. 18. Article 39. The following are the penalties for illegal recruitment, except Life imprisonment B. 100,000 peso fine. C. Closure of recruitment agency. D. 1 million peso fine. E. Revocation of license. The answer is D. 1 million peso fine. 19. Art. 40. In what condition are non resident aliens permitted to be employed in the Philippines? A. A non availability of a person in the Philippines who is competent, able, and willing to perform the services for which the alien desires to be employed. B. Non resident aliens are not allowed to seek employment in the Philippines. The answer is A. A non availability of a Filipino counterpart who qualifies for the post. 20. Article 42. What document do non-resident aliens need to secure to be able to engage in employment in the Philippines? A. Working visa. B. Employment permit. C. Labor license. The answer is B. Employment permit.